Hello, my name is Ben, and you're watching Sunday Fun Day. All right, all right, all right. Today we are going to have a play session and we're going to open up, as you can see, um, one of my most recent files, which is just a new blocks ensemble uh, that we can work with in standard instrument mode or play mode. Uh, so we can always hide the A v uh, the B view rather of any of these instruments or blocks, but what we're actually going to do today is just combine some of my favorite new uh, Euro React blocks again with um, uh, and Toy Box and Holonic Source and some other things that I've recently gone over. Uh, and we're just going to have a play with some of the newer uh, updated blocks from our friends at Sinai Audio. Uh, and we're going to pull in some of our favorite blocks together from all of these libraries. So, um, what I'm going to do here is just start kind of a new ensemble, uh, new blocks rack, if you will, uh, in Reactor. And um, for today, uh, I'm essentially just going to start pulling in some of my favorite stuff. So, let's get into looking at the player and the library in the standard library. We have a new pack that we can explore and we will explore, uh, but not right this second. Uh, we're gonna go into the free pack and we're gonna find the oscillator. So we'll pull one of the one of these guys in here for now and then we're also going to pull in uh i really love the native instruments in the blocks primes library i'm really a fan of the boutique multi-wave not only because it's blue <laughs> but uh, it's a nice multi-wave oscillator. And then um, also going to pull in a couple of things from Sinai Audio. So let's go ahead and dig in to um, this folder here. And let's get, I want to pull in an HT. And I actually want to view the B view on this. We have a nice newly built B view for the Sinai Audio uh, blocks. Looks beautiful. And um, also going to pull in, let's see, something else here. It was another, oh yeah, VPM. And this is one that I built uh, a little while back. Doesn't look nearly as beautiful yet, uh, but I'm sure. Um, this is on the path to uh, update sometime as well. Uh, but at any rate, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start pulling in some sequencers. Uh, so we're, I know we're actually going to need quite a bit of space. Let's go ahead and keep the clock in here for now. Let's move this closer to the end or the edge or whatever you like and start kind of positioning our oscillators here towards the top right. And let's see if we can hide the structure view as much as possible. I want to patch things together as much as I can here on the uh, front panel, using wires here on the front panel view. So like pitch, for example, we can go ahead and get all these patched in for pitch. Um, but what I would like to do is um, go ahead and um, try to use the uh, front panel as much as humanly possible. And so uh, let's get back into the player folder. Let's open the toy box uh, folders here. And I want to pull in the... 
Um, some of the utilities, I, I really like the uh, just the VCA and the mixer and, and everything here is, is pretty, pretty damn stellar in my opinion. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this in. Uh, dual VCA. Let's go ahead. I, is the envelope? It's probably in modulation. Yeah, envelope's going to be here in the modulation folder. So let's get the envelope pulled in here as well. All right, and then we have a dual VCA. We're probably going to need to duplicate this. So let's pull this in again, and that way we have a couple of these for all the oscillators. All right, so now let's go ahead and patch in the oscillator outputs uh, to the VCA. Um, so we'll say os1 plus 2 and... Uh, no, we didn't want to do that. Let's try that again. Three plus four. And then um, let's go ahead and get these patched in. We'll say this is one and two up here. And this is three and four. Uh, so output, and where do we want to come out of VP? Mixed output. So, um, let's go ahead and get I like the quad mixer as well, just from the blocks base library, I believe. So let's pull this open. It's utility. Yeah, here we go. Mix four. I just like the way the levels look on here. Um, so let's go uh, out. Do we want to? Mm, yeah, why not? For now. Let's go ahead and just go out of each output. Just something I rarely do. It's a lot of connections, but who gives a shit? So, um, I kind of want to see what each of the levels look like here. And then I know for a fact what I want to do is, well, we're going to patch together the outputs. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we can start patching together the gate for the envelope. So we'll set the envelope up, make sure the envelope has, yep, so node ins working for my keyboard. We have the envelope lighting up, so we're good there. So let's patch the envelope into the control for all of the VCAs. We maybe will start hearing some sound here pretty quick. Yep, hear sound from all four inputs. Interesting sound. Um, so we want to obviously mix this a little bit better and, and see kind of what we want to do on each channel. So now we have some good control over each of these oscillators. And now we know the pitch is, is working um, and all that good stuff. So what I actually want to do is create some kind of a sequenced uh, thing. So now that we know we have a basic kind of four oscillator, or well really if you take three oscillators and then add another four to it here with the quad boutique multi-wave it's more like seven oscillators and uh, truth be told but um there's going to be all sorts of different stuff that each of these oscillators can do which is pretty badass and obviously we're going to get some filters and other things pulled in here but um what i know i want to do is pull in some sequencers so let's get a, a note sequencer Pulled in here. And let's position this over here kind of towards the clock. And we'll go ahead and get the gate uh, patched in for the clock. So now we know the uh, clock is running, the note sequencer is running. We can set this to internal and hit play and control the play and the BPM ourselves. Uh, so that's nice. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that. We can patch the reset in here as well. I think that'll work. 
Yeah, because every time I hit play, it'll start it from the beginning. So that's good. So every time, yeah, so reset. Or maybe I'm supposed to see play gate output. Gate, gate is high when clock is running and low when stopped. And the play input here, what does that do? So a positive value causes the sequencer to play. So I assume from the beginning. So um, that's good. Um, yeah, I think that was working the way I intended, really. Uh, so it resets anyway by default here, and then it'll also reset this note sequencer if I patch this into play. So that works. And then um, what I wanted to do was test out some different ways to set the notes here. So drag on the note names to set the note pitch for each step. Obviously, I know to do that. That's cool. Um, there's also a way to use your keyboard, I believe. That's what I'm trying to figure out here. Uh, let's see. Double click to mute it. Right click or right click and drag to audition. Right click and hold and then play a MIDI note. Nice. To set the pitch of that step via MIDI. Nice. So let's see if that, that works here. So what does it say about other right click, right click, right click and drag to audition? Hmm, interesting. Um, so what about uh, right click? No, it's asking about the wire. So what about, nice. Okay, so if I let go of the click, it'll go ahead and stick there. Very nice. Okay, that's what I want to do. So um, what I kind of want to do here is view the A for just a moment, and that will hide the wires that are kind of hanging out in my way here. And then um, I want to go ahead and set the pitch of this. Um, so it's actually more like... That's really cool. Okay, so I can hold down uh, right click essentially and just start playing notes on the keyboard. And as you can see, it just writes in those notes for each of the steps. So go ahead and get a D1 set for everything really easily. You can just hit D1 16 times holding right click, and that'll go ahead and set the note sequencer. Uh, from toy box uh, you know to that to that pitch so pretty amazing revelation that's going to help me work a lot faster with the note sequencer from now on and I'm pretty sure I saw uh, the creator do this at one point uh, as well for whatever reason I couldn't get it working and I never retried it but this is this is a pretty amazing way of working so um, it was a different pitch that I was going for <laughs> So, okay, um, all right, so that we actually want to set to B1. So, nice. And now if we wanted to uh, patch this in, uh, we would select this for the pitch. And then we would um, select this for the gate. <laughs> Get the note 
notes for this kind of set up the way I want it. And then we might just have a jam for a little bit while we get filters set up and do some other intuitive things, whatever we want to do, really. So I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to go ahead and hold down right click and set um, set the notes I'm going for, which is what? Uh, more like A. 